This guy may not be Marvel or DC, or even Image for that matter, but he's a pretty cool character in my opinion. Hello, Vic the Freeze here, and I want to quickly talk about my favorite comic book character, Shadow Man, from Valiant Comics. It's interesting to note that Valiant Comics was actually a smaller publisher compared to their larger counterparts such as Marvel, DC, and even Image who was really hot during the 90s. In terms of sales for Valiant Comics, it was going up and down, but Shadow Man was their flagship title back in 92 which sold more than any other Marvel or DC title during those times. But Shadow Man still struggled against the other publisher, Image Comics, who had big names like Spawn, Savage Dragon, and Gen 13. But what I love about Valiant Comics back in the 90s was that they did not make multiple variant covers of the same issues just to profit off the consumer, though it made them stood out in that era. Unfortunately for Valiant, the company struggled and was then sold to Acclaim Entertainment, another publisher that also made video games. Acclaim then made their own mini comic series of Shadow Man with a darker tone which explores elements of horror and crime. Plus, with one fairly successful video game on home consoles, and a sequel that met with mixed reactions. However, that didn't last long either, as Acclaim finally went bankrupt in 2004. That's when the whole property of Valiant came to a halt until it was restarted by entrepreneurs in 2012. Woo! Well, as you can see, Shadow Man's publishing history is a bit of a mess. So, just who or what is Shadow Man? Well, it's a bit difficult to explain since each incarnation of Shadow Man's origins depends on who owns the publishing rights. Though, there are a few key points within the world of Shadow Man that keeps his origins all similar to each other. One of them being the main protagonist of the series, named Jack Boniface, who is always Shadow Man. Number 1. All their origin stories takes place in the south of New Orleans of Louisiana within the United States. Number 2. The city of New Orleans is known for the wild nightlife and voodoo culture and lore. Number 3. Shadow Man's powers and abilities is inherited from voodooism which traces back to African and Caribbean history. Number 4. The powers of Shadow Man is actually a lineage and mantle passed down, but the series main protagonist is almost always Jack Boniface. Number 5. The series is known for doing a lot of multi-dimensional travel with the occurrence of the supernatural. Jack has gone through the underworld, hell, the past, the future, and other otherworldly dimensions. And now we have number six, which this one is gonna be my opinion. Shadow Man frequently do a lot of crossover stories with other Valiant characters, which can be a bit troublesome in terms of storytelling for a guy like him. All right, since we got that out of the way, what are his powers and abilities? Originally, he can only activate his powers at night, but in other versions of him, he will only need to wear a specialized magical amulet given to him by his father, who is also Shadow Man. But in truth, they're all kinda hazy, so pick your poison. When he does have his power activated, he possesses enhanced superhuman strength, endurance, agility, and reflexes. Though unsure of how physically capable he is, most will pinpoint him at the level of Captain America. He also possesses night vision, mild regenerative abilities, gliding, reduced fear, and other untapped voodoo powers like darkness manipulation, necromancy, and empathy. But his voodoo powers are very limited to a degree since he prefers to use his fists most of the time. Not only that, but he also lacks the knowledge of voodoo in general. In terms of fighting prowess, Jack has no formal training but has many years of street fighting so he's experienced enough to handle a thug or two. Okay now, that covers the basis of this segment. In the next video, I'll be showing you the different versions of Shadow Man in each era he was published in. I'll also give my thoughts and opinions on how the protagonist Jack was portrayed 
without going into much spoilers. Plus, we'll explore its themes and critique the overall versions of each Shadow Man. So, this is Vector Freeze. Thank you for watching.